Alright, welcome back. Matapos ang kanilang disappointing stint sa UAP Season 79 target naman ngayon ng Adams and Lady Falcons na malampasan ang elimination round ng Season 80 ng Women's Volleyball at mas kumpiyansa sila na magagawa nila ito dahil sa kanilang added firepower this year. Let's talk to their head coach, Coach Air Pada, at ang kanyang players na sina Christine Joyo Eli Soyud, Penela Emnas, Maylin Pat, Kiara Permentilla at Gemma Galanza. Good evening, Lady Falcons. Welcome back to The Score. Good evening. Hi, uh, Coach. Good evening. Oh, you got a lapel, so no, no need to use that. Uh, good evening. All smiles. All the girls so excited <laughs> for season 80. We were just talking how it was so different last year. It's a different look this year. Yeah. Well, what a journey it's been uh, this last uh, off season for the Adams Lady Falcons. If you could sum it up in a nutshell, how's it been, Coach? How's it been preparing for season 80? Um, it's been really good. I think after our last season, it was a little disappointing. Mm -hmm. I know the showing that we made, but being uh, my first year taking over, I knew that the team needed time to mm -hmm. develop. And I, it's like Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. Yep. So I knew we weren't going to go in last season and and kill it. Mm -hmm. And so um, ending strong though, ending with our first win and only win against UE, I think it really set the tone for our off season. Mm -hmm. And I think we were talking about it, we kind of just cleaned up shop to make room for- Some new girls. Yeah, yeah. some new heat, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> some competitors to add to the uh, program. Mm -hmm. And we've been blessed enough to be able to play in two PVL conferences, which I yes. think uh, totally worked in our favor. Mm -hmm. One of our weakest, uh, points last year is that the girls or the team lacked game experience. Yeah. So right away we just dove into it um, and started playing in the right. PVL. So everybody here was already part of those two conferences. Except, Except Mylene, Mylene, who was right. playing in the PSL. That's so. right. Okay, I get yeah. it. Now I get the complication. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. But uh, one of the newcomers, uh, uh, Ellie, uh, with Christine Joy, so formal. Uh, Ellie, can you grab a mic? Kamusta naman? Gaano ka na-excited? You had to sit out one year, no? Yes. Uh, that's a transfer. So, kamusta yung one year na yun na, na nanonood ka lang, nakikitraining ka, pero ngayon ito na yung chance mo na makabalik ka sa UAP? Um, for me, um, sobrang excited. Na-excite ako this coming UAPs na sa one year ako naghintay, so ito na yun. Parang mm -hmm. game, game day na. Game day na talaga. I can see the excitement in your face. I, I can imagine what it's like, though. Uh, the one beside you naman, Gemma, we're glad you're here. My mm -hmm. goodness, after that scary game, as an alala ko, nakusap kita sa phone, di ba? Nung na-injure ka. Uh, kamusta? Kamusta yung recovery mo? At uh, siyempre, hindi, hindi alam ng fans gano'ng kahirap mag-therapy, mag mag-recover. And to get the strength back, it's one thing to get that foot healthy. It's another thing to get that foot you know, in top athletic shape, no, ikang ano, kama sa yung uh, rehab mo at uh, yung readiness mo yun. Um, yun po, ano, nagtuloy tuloy pa rin po yung, yung mga exercise ko, yung mga binibigay ni Doc sa akin. Tapos, mm -hmm. um, hindi pa siya ganun ka 100%. Okay. Pero, uh, uh, nakukuha ko na yung, yung, ano, ng bilis ng, ng katawan ko. Okay. And, um, Ano lang, minsan nga lang siya, minsan nga lang sumasakit siya, so medyo nag, nag naiilang ako, tapos mm -hmm. nag-aalang, nag-aalang na akong gumalaw, so, mm -hmm. pero ano naman, parang nararamdaman ko naman na kaya ko na, and ano lang din, ingat na lang po. Yun. Minsan sa mga engineer na ganun, maliban sa physical, mental, malaking bagay, okay. no? Kamusta yung support ni coach at ng teammates mo to, to strengthen you mentally, to know that you have the confidence in your body, in your foot, to recover? Um, um, lagi lang po nila sinasabi na ano, na uh, hindi hindi naman po ako nawala sa team mm -hmm. na, na lagi, lagi lang akong kahit na wala ako sa loob ng court, yeah. parang yung yung ano ko, yung presence ko nandoon pa rin sa loob ng court. So, parang never nilang pinaramdam sa akin na nawala ako. Tapos nandoon din naman din nandoon lang naman din po ako lagi sa training nila kahit na hindi na ako nakakalakad ng maayos, talagang uh, gusto ko rin na pakita sa kanila na um, gusto gusto ko talaga makabalik agad. Alright, uh, can you pass the mic to Fenella Bihanyo? Kamusta naman yung ano, nabagit na ni Coach Air yung uh, dalawang PBL conferences na na-experience nyo. Kamusta para sa inyo yun? As from a player's perspective, gano'ng kalaking tulong yun na naparami yung games nyo. Ibang training, syempre yeah. iba yung daro, di ba? So, anong naitulong sa inyo ng experience na yan? Um, sobrang naging helpful yung dalawang conference na yun mm -hmm. kasi nag nabuboost yung confidence ng bawat isa and mm -hmm. yung trust sa isa't isa and right. sa, ba sa sarili din namin eh. Mm -hmm. And um, parang Doon din namin nakita yung mga um, lapses namin eh. So, mm -hmm. yun. Sobrang malaking tulong yung... Opportunity to grow, yeah. no? Ikaw nga lang. Um, 
Kaya rin naman, uh, maliban sa games, those games were also big time games. Kasi you went into some mga series, no? yung Final Four, tapos yung Battle for Third. It's not just an elimination round game. So yung pressure iba. Di ba? Kamusta yung ramdam ng pressure na yan compared dun sa regular UAP games na it's a round robin game. Pero ito, you know, something is at stake ka nga for that game. Um, sa lagi lang po sinasabi ni Coach Erna, pressure is privilege. So, ayun, parang embrace the moment. Whatever mm-hmm. happens, just do your best, perform mm-hmm. at your highest level, and tiwala lang din po sa sarili na kayo mo mag-perform. Alright, and uh, Maylene naman, finally, <laughs> you can join them. Kamusta? I'm sure, ikaw rin gigil na gigil ka rin to eventually join them. No? Kamusta yung paghahanda with you na humahabol ka to gel with the team uh, para sa paghahanda for season 80? Kamusta naman? Feeling ko yung gelling naman to the team is okay naman na okay. siya. Kasi um, before pa ako mag-decide na bumalik, bumalik talaga sa kanila, nakikitraining na ako sa kanila. Okay. And um, ano, good thing naman na si Coach Air pumapayag sa, na pumunta ako sa ano hmm. sa um, jury training. Ganun. Then siguro <laughs> ano, um, yung sinabi mong gigil na gigil, um, hindi naman sa asin gigil masyado, kasi hindi naman lang. masyado. Tama lang kasi... Okay. Pag nanggigigil ka, mas lalong mawawala ka sa focus. Ah, oh, oh. So, so, dapat ayun. tempo lang. Tempo right, lang. Right. Even here. Alright, Coach Air, um, the girls look, you know, as, as I hear from them, they look very excited and ready. And as, as, as Finale said, learning the lessons. Because right? it's one thing to learn yeah. in training. It's another thing to learn from the experience in the game. So, what yeah. is that like when you saw them game after game and you even had a couple of series to play pressure games, is, as you say, pressure is a privilege. Yeah. What is that like to see the girls grow? in those moments oh you know that i guess that's what coaching is all about i always tell them if you want to repay the coaches back you just you got to improve mm-hmm. and you know they're like i we've planted these seeds for these seeds have been planted almost yeah. a year and a half ago mm-hmm. and i know sometimes when you're going when you're taking over a team and you're trying to rebuild it from the ground up you get to this point where you're questioning like are we doing the right thing mm-hmm. Is it ever going to work? Is it ever? Are they ever going to blossom? And mm-hmm. then finally, they reach this point where they just start to sprout, mm-hmm. and um, it really is just a beautiful thing to sit back and watch and be able to coach them and get them to like the next level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we're not we're not like an amateur uh, level right mm-hmm. now. Well, in in trainings, yes, you know, we're not yes. the practices and uh, just where we're at right now compared to where we were last season. Is so it's way more intense, okay. you know, and the training is a lot more tougher, mm-hmm. and we're playing oh. at a high level of volleyball now, so oh. it's it's exciting. How different! <laughs> I mean, we we keep hearing you say in some interviews that you're really looking forward to a a, a refreshed uh, charge in season 80, very different from season 70. Yeah. Obviously, lineup wise, uh, you lost about seven players. Yes, uh, they've <laughs> moved on. Uh, yeah. But you have, uh, you know, uh, a solid core still and some new recruits. Yeah. How excited is the team with the material that you have as individuals and the challenge as well yeah. to make it gel as to a make team? It Those gel. are two different things. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now we we have all of the the tools, like you said. Mm-hmm. Actually, when I think about them, I think of um, the Lakers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when um, nice they had Kobe, yeah. uh-huh. Gary Payton, Carl Malone. You know, they right. had this all-star team. That everyone thought was going to go that every, all the way. That yes. everyone thought that was going to go all the way. It was like a dream team. Yeah, but they yeah. just couldn't get it, it together. together. Right they couldn't. Away, yeah. they, could, they didn't know how to have five superstars on the team mm-hmm. and make the team the superstar right. instead of each one of them wanting to overshine Mm -hmm. each of them so and they know I talk about this a lot this is Um, your constant message to them yes because as 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 we do have the tools our biggest challenge is going to be making them all work together Mm -hmm. and gel and play as one unit and again having the team be the the best player on the team Mm -hmm. so um, it's been exciting they've learned I think they've learned a lot Um, but I think you know we're ready and They've been, some of them have been training for this for, like, I feel like Jemma, Mylene, Finn, they've been training for this for, like, four years. Wow. For this you know, moment, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for this uh-huh. moment. So you can't, you can't let this pass you by right. just because you, you, you want to be the, you know, the star. Right, right, right. You know, it, for every good team to, like, rise up, they, you, you need help. Mm-hmm. You need 
other people on the team that can step up. So I think um, we have that this year. Well said. And, yeah. and of course, the community is on a high now with the basketball program yes. doing so well, the cheering yeah. squad doing so well. Does that add a bit of pressure? Because that, that's <laughs> the, like the big three of UAP sports, right? Yeah. Basketball, yeah. cheer, dance, and volleyball. How's the vibe I mean, now You see, I cut my hair. I, know. I am stressed well, out. I'm just home. playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I cut my hair because I was feeling like getting it. Okay. No, it is. It's, it's a lot of pressure, yeah. but... Um, uh, on the flip side, it's like, oh my God, there's, there's so many amazing things happening at Adamson. Yeah. Like, we're actually a part of a school that's bil building a winning culture. Yes, yes. Like, we don't want it to stop mm -hmm. with Pep Squad. Yeah. And we have so many examples now of mm -hmm. what it takes to to get to a Final Four, mm -hmm. to win a championship. Yeah. So, what what better way than to look at yeah. it like that instead of looking at it as like, uh <laughs> well, exciting opportunities yeah. ahead, and can't wait to see you guys back on the court. Uh, yeah. Good luck, and we will be watching and, and enjoying the competition on the side. Thank you. Thank you so much. Adam Thank you so much. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score, and don't forget to subscribe.